Hey guys, this is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee. Today we're going to discuss the main differences between the two primary fixed format editions you can use in Kindle Create. There are quite a few differences between the two. If you don't know, Kindle Create is a software which can help you convert your print book into an ebook. Generally, this can be done by uploading a PDF, is what most people are going to use this for. They will upload a PDF of their book and it will be transformed into a Kindle ebook. Just so we can get the idea of what we're talking about, let's go ahead and create a new file. And this is what we see. Our options are reflowable, comic, and print replica. We are going to be focusing today on the comic and print replica versions. Historically, I have used print replica for the majority of my projects. This is what you would use for uh, cookbooks, like the example here, fixed format children's books, books that are very image heavy, anything that cannot be reflowable, um, something that I do not want the user to be able to change the font size or to um, have things end up in funky places. Recently, however, it has been brought to my attention that the comic option is often better for wider support. Here's why. Look here. Compatible Kindle apps and devices. Free Kindle reading apps. Fire tablets. Kindle e-readers. When I toggle back to print replica, Kindle e-readers is gone. Don't know why, but the reason is the print replica is basically a flattened PDF. The comic version is flattened JPEGs. And I suppose that Kindle e-readers do not have support for PDFs. They only have support for JPEGs. So any of your black and white devices, that's gonna be your Kindle e-readers, your Kindle Scribe, um, your old original Kindle Classics, this is going to be your Kindle e-reader devices. And if you use Print Replica, you are nixing these devices, they will not be able to see your publication. Um, the one advantage of Print Replica is that there are clickable links. You can have a live table of contents, you can have external links that go to your websites, um, that kind of thing. In your comic, you will not be able to utilize these functions. There is no, there's no option for preserved links. Let me bring up, I made a comparison sheet of each of these. So um, both the print replica and the comic book functions are pretty similar when you are utilizing Kindle Create to do these. Um, is there's no indicator that the final format is JPEGs or PDFs, but that is the difference in viewability by the readers, uh, depending on what their device is able to see. Uh, the, this is gonna be the biggest debate right here, is whether or not you want to include those older Kindle e-readers versus having live links. Those are the two biggest pros and cons of these two formats. Unfortunately, it seems like you just can't have it all. The other thing is that the comic book function is gonna be more spread capable. So if it's really important that your book um, is viewable with pages side by side on the same spread, you're definitely gonna wanna go with the comic book option. However, if having live links is more important, maybe you wanna go back over here to the print replica and use this just for the sake of understanding what I'm talking about if you're not familiar with Kindle Create. Let's go ahead and make a project. This is print replica, this is comic. Now it doesn't matter if you're not actually making a comic book. You don't have to use the comic book features. Basically what this should say is JPEG format, PDF format. This is the main difference. So let's go ahead and use comics. I'm gonna click continue. We'll add the title, author, and publisher is me. Um, 
We want to do a left to right reading direction, and I would like to enable basic pages. Now I can import any old PDF. I'm going to toggle this to PDF so I can see the PDFs I want to import. Let's import. All right, now we can click continue. And as you can see on the navigational panel, the images are being displayed as spreads. Um, the one feature that's going to be missing is edit and preserve links. Um, if we were using the print replica version, we would be able to see a, an option for preserve links, which would update all of your hyperlinks into live links. Um, now, if I didn't want to use the panels feature in this book, that's fine. I could just go ahead, um, add in each of my table of contents. This one to say title page and then go on so on and so forth. I also like that it is pretty good at understanding whether or not um, there should be a single or a facing page here. Um, if I did want to auto detect panels, uh, this is this program is pretty good at this. I could tell it to auto detect the panels on this page. And then when I go to preview this page, um, it's going to go ahead and slide through each of these panels, which is, of course, cutting off the word. So I need to adjust those a little better. Um, I could just simply slide these to also include the text. And now when I preview, it's going to preview each of the panels along with the words. You'll notice I have the option for the Kindle e-reader in this comic book portion of Kindle Create. If I was using print replica, I would not see this. Um, so it is accurate to the supported devices and whether or not you have live links. So it's kind of a toss up, whichever one's more important to you. You can have facing pages and support all the devices, or you can have a version that has live links and a live table of contents, etc. Update. We have learned that content heavy ebooks must fall under that print replica category. They are not allowed to be under the comic book or the JPEG category. Amazon wants it to be live text, which it is in a print replica. It's basically a PDF. But Books like this, where we have a lot of content, we have special characters, uh, like these pronunciation parts. This will not, this will not pass if you try to set this up as a uh, comic book style. Unfortunately, that means that we are nixing our Kindle e-reader audience. Um, if you look over here, I'm not allowed to choose that. It's not in my option panel, and it also means that we cannot look at this document and spreads but the upside is that we can generate this using kindle create instead of hand coding an ebook so all that in mind just be careful when you are choosing print replica or comic book comic book is going to be the best for your your general children's books that have low content and it's rarely necessary for those pictures to be side by side like it would be in the physical book. Use print replica for anything else that has a lot of content, a lot of um, textbook style content to it. If it's really content heavy, make sure you're using that print replica and just know that you are not going to be able to view that ebook in spreads side by side, and you are not going to have support on Kindle e readers like the Kindle Scribe. Sorry about that, everyone. Can't have the best of both worlds, unfortunately. Um, but at least we do have a free tool that can help us generate ebooks easily and without too much head scratching. I hope you all found this helpful. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like. That really helps us out, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.